At this year's Alberta shoot, we took the opportunity to try out some rarely seen types of arms. Matchlocks. Martin had his Mary Rose reproduction from the 1540s, while Richard brought along his Indian example from the 1700s. <laughs> so Martin, what do we have here? Well, we've got a matchlock musket, 40 caliber. Um, circa 1540. So just a little bit before the Victorian era. Just a tad. Uh, kind of Henry VIII. Oh yeah. Um, replica of the muskets found on the wreck of the Mary Rose. Okay. And what caliber is this one? This one's a 40. 40. Smooth ball. And I'm just trying it with uh, 45 grains of powder. Okay. Felt wad, card wad, and a knurled ball. Mm -hmm. So it's a thumb fit. Yeah. Okay. Let me try him. Cover. Take the match. I guess in this wind you don't need to blow on it, do you? <laughs> it's keeping pretty much alight, I think. And the match is made out of what? Um, twine made from hemp. Okay. And then it's soaked in something? Saltpeter. Yes. Saltpeter, okay. And with these you have to aim them twice. Once to make sure it's going to hit the prime. Uh-huh. And then again with the sides. So. Oh, I see. And you open it up. And the sepoy went down. Well, there you go. Richard, what have we got here? It's an Indian Torridor, Northern India, Rajasthan, and uh, it's from Jaipur Arsenal. There are quite a lot of sporting ones there, and they seem to be the only place, they seem to be new units, that were made with the, 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 uh, the hamster, the two birds okay. of, of Hindu. Uh, right. and, and they didn't really put the lotus flowers on as well. Right. All important things in the trissula on the barrel and oh, yes. things like that. Uh, but they're all the same. You see them with the same trigger, you got the same poor quality engraving. Sure. Even on the better ones, you see lousy engraving. But they were, um, they seem to be all made and they seem to be uh, unique to Jaipur. Now, what year would this date from? I would think about maybe 1780, 1790. But the thing is, they made the same thing if you look at. Um, Akbar, fired one in the 1540s or something like that. Uh, it seemed to be just about the same. Yeah. And into the 19th century, mid 19th, they okay. didn't really alter. But so they really didn't change much. No. Nope. Oh, wow. nope. I guess it worked. You know, they used to use them and do very well with them. Sure. Hunting them. Uh, what caliber is this? It's about a 54-ish. I got a 53 caliber ball, and it's. Not a bad fit. Yeah. You know, if you're going to shoot it a lot, you get one that will fit a little closer. Right. Or patch it. No. You know, uh, what what kind of combination do you use then? I just use the wads, just a wad. Okay. And a ball, another wad, some lube. So does Bill Curtis know that you use that his combination in this kind of match line? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you might get to know. <laughs> There's a, there's a lot. Generally, the ones from Jaipur as well, they get the fuel the place, you got the whole leg, snuff the match in it. Ah, okay. And just, while, you know, while you're loading it, like? Well, no, that's just to put it out. Oh, oh I see, okay. You, you do, when you want to actually snuff it. Ah, okay. Oh. Good. Well, I'm just keen to see this shoot. Well, it's loaded already. Ball. Is it? Powder, powder and ball down the barrel. Okay. Got me a little uh, alliteration. Powder. Mm -hmm. And your match, your match is made of what? Hemp. Hemp, 
Okay. Yep. yep. Now, is it soaked in anything? Uh, saltpeter. Saltpeter, okay. Yeah. You can use wood ashes, some I've got some made wood ashes seem to work just the same. Right. Or gunpowder. Yeah. You can soak a bit in make sure a handful of gunpowder in a gallon of water seems to work just oh, the really? same. Yeah. Tell me if it's hot. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> so put that in there. The wind's not that favourable, but it won't blow it out. It won't one. blow it out, that's for sure. And you try your match. Okay. There's some kind of magic it should work. You know to stand to one side when you fire these things, don't you? Open the pan. Okay. Just like that. Geez, that's so fast, eh? Oh, the fast? Yeah. Where'd it go? Uh, I did that once and it gone down inside my shirt. <laughs>